Hello friends, welcome to National Peace YouTube channel, myself Prasenjit. Today I will show you one of the new series of products from ASUS, ASUS PL64. In this channel, we have already showed you so many mini PC of ASUS, all are in PN series. This is the first time we will introduce you the ASUS PL series mini PC. The PL series is actually designed for the indoor industrial purpose. In this video, I will show you all the technical details about this mini PC. I will also show you what are the uses and I will also show you how you install this actual mini PC with the RAM and SSD. So let's begin this video. ASUS new mini PC PL64. It's a PL series mini PC. This mini PC actually designed for the specifically industrial purpose. It has a handless design and this mini PC uses only 15 watt CPU that means the EU series CPU. This particular PL64 is coming with Intel 12th generation processor and it's available in i3, i5 and i7 segment. This mini PC has many more features I will tell you one by one. The main feature is it has a fanless design and ASUS claims that with this particular heatsink, the design, it can run in 50 degree of temperature and you can use this particular mini PC 24 by 7 up to 48 month non-stop operation. ASUS claim this actually in their website. Also it has a reliability test also ASUS have done so many certifications for this particular device. If we talk about the networking, this device has the dual LAN port and it also supports the dual COM port. This is the only mini PC we have seen nowadays with the facility of COM port and this COM port has the so many support version is there. It can support RS-232, RS-422 and RS-485. So you can use multiple type of device with this mini PC. Also this mini PC has the VESA mount facility so you can easily install this mini PC alongside or any location for your industrial application. And this particular mini PC supports the DDR4 RAM up to 64 GB and it is supports the 3200 MHz of uh, the RAM speed. Also this mini PC has internal two M.2 slots, both are PCI generation 4 supported so you can use the maximum huge capability of storage. This particular mini PC also supports the EDID uh, embed technology which is ASUS own technology. With this uh, what will be the advantage if you use this for a signage purpose just like uh, your KFC or any other brand when you see the so many displays are there for the advertisement. So if you connect it, it has a dedicated uh, 3 HDMI port and all 3 HDMI ports support the 4K display. You have installed the 3 monitor and accidentally one monitor is go out with the power. So what will happen in a normal system, the um, window system uh, automatically detect that there is no monitor so it will march the all type of uh, display or all type of your screen size march to the two display. So it will be some haphazard and the looks will be very much uh, odd. But this particular device has the ED ID system. So it will automatically detect the one monitor is go off. So it will still static this particular display for the uh, two other display. So the display the looks like it will be same the, the customer experience will also the good. So this is a very good advantage with this PL64. In this PL64 there is the if you talk about the RAM slot there is two RAM slot and two SSD slot. But this particular device is coming as a bare bone. So I, in this video, I will show you how to install this RAM and SSD and I will also show you what are the ports are connected and what the device actually looks like. So let's start the unboxing. ASUS Ultra Slim Mini PC PL64. Let's unpack this. This is the main device. Wow, it's a heavy weight, full metal chassis. Right side is the accessories. This is the adapter. Let's check the adapter because it is a low power device. It's 19 volt, 3.4. So near about 65 watt adapter. This is the power cable. Check this position. Just two external antenna. This is the two M.2 screw. This is for the VESA plate kit and this is for the VESA mount kit. This is the booklet. This is the driver CD. This is the VESA mount with the lock features. Let's check the main mini PC. <coughs> Thank you. 
वाओ इट्स अ वेरी स्लिम डिजाइन टॉप पोजिशन इज फुल ए सिंगल मेटल प्लेट दिस इज एक्चुअली द हिट सिंग फॉर द प्रोसेसर बिकॉज इट्स ए फैनलेस डिजाइन एंड टोटल फुल इज मेटल बॉडी सो इट्स वेट इज हैवी आर एक्चुअली नाउ लेट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द फ्रंट साइड फ्रंट साइड दिस इज द हार्ड डिस्क एक्टिविटी एल ई डी एंड दिस ऑन फॉर द हेडफोन प्लस माइक्रोफोन जैक दिस थ्री आर द यू एस बी थ्री पॉइंट टू जनरेसन वन पोर्ट दिस इज द पावर बटन दिस पावर बटन हैज ऑल्सो वन एल ई डी रिंग एंड दिस टू आर फॉर द कॉम्पोर्ट दिस टू कॉम्पोर्ट सपोर्ट द आर एस टू थ्री टू आर एस टू 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 एंड आर एस फोर एट फाइव टू यूज दिस आर एस टू थ्री टू आर एस फोर एट फाइव दिस सीरीज ऑफ कॉम्पोर्ट असोज एज दिवन दिस आर एच जे फिफ्टी टू डी वी नाइन पोर्ट इज रिक्वायर्ड टू यूज दिस और यू कैन यूज डिरेक्टली फॉर द आर जे फिफ्टी पोर्ट इफ यू हैव दिस टाइप ऑफ कनेक्टिविटी दिस साइड हैज द टू यू एस बी पोर्ट दिस इज द यू एस बी थ्री पॉइंट टू जनरेसन वन पोर्ट दिस साइड इज वेंटिलेशन दिस साइड ऑल्सो वेंटिलेशन एंड बैक साइड देर इज लॉर्ड्स ऑफ पोर्ट्स इज देयर फर्स्ट टू पोर्ट्स आर द टू लैंड पोर्ट वन इज टू पॉइंट फाइव जी लैंड पोर्ट एंड वन इज नॉर्मल गीगा बिट लैंड पोर्ट दिस टू आर फॉर द एक्सटर्नल एंटेना दिस एक्सटर्नल एंटेना दिस बिकॉज दिस डिवाइस हैज द इंटरनल वाई फाई सिक्स सी एंड ब्लूटूथ फाइव पॉइंट थ्री दिस लेटेस्ट जनरेसन ब्लूटूथ एंड वाई फाई इज प्री इंस्टॉल्ड एंड दिस थ्री आर्ज द एच डी एम आई टू पॉइंट वन दिस इज ऑल्सो द लेटेस्ट जनरेसन एंड दिस ऑल एच डी एम आई पोर्ट सपोर्ट्स द फोर के डिस्प्ले दिस इज द डी सी इनपुट पोर्ट एंड एवरी वर यू कैन चेक देर इज लॉर्ड्स ऑफ स्क्रू टाइटन इज देयर बिकॉज फॉर द इंडस्ट्रियल ग्रेट पर्पज सो इफ यू इंस्टॉल द इन सेट इन रैम एंड एस एस डी यू हैव टू अनस्क्रू दिस फोर सो लेट्स अनस्क्रू दिस फोर स्क्रू एंड आई विल शो यू हाउ टू इंस्टॉल द रैम एंड एस एस डी ओपन दिस टू स्क्रूस ऑल्सो this you had the pre installed the uh, for the uh, m.2 ssd this is for the heat uh, dissipation purpose this is the thermal pad already pre installed these two position for the sodm ram ddr4 and this one and this one for the m.2 ssd to use this position m.2 ssd you can you have to use upside from the flap okay now we will use 232 gb of ram and two generation for ssd this is simply the push and push fit design so ram and ssd installation is completed now we will again close this cover this two are the external wifi antenna so let's connect this two also now we will power up this device and i will show you the bios setup and i will show you also the windows performance with this mini pc now we have connected the power and hdmi cable with this pl60 port let's power on this device this power button has internal led ring you can check this is the green led ring is there now i will show you the bios setup so this particular device is the 12 generation i5 processor it has installed the 32 mega 100 megahertz of ram and um, 64 gb of total ram if you check the advanced there is all uh, facilities there if you can change the form of the cpu speed and everything in memory configuration you can check on board device configuration you can adjust from here you can monitor the temperature it's only 33 or 32 degrees centigrade if you want to wall mount this device you can you can use this for the automatic power on when there is the power loss restore the power loss is power off so you can turn it on the power on so whenever that there will be power off and power on again the device will be automatically boot up now we will install the windows 10 and i will show you one or two um, the facility of the windows 10 and the performance test from the os install the windows 10 i will show you one by one first this particular device has i5 1 to 3 5 u and it has a 64 gb of ram if we check the device manager this 
is the processor. If you check the networking part, it has the dual LAN, Wi-Fi 6C. It also has the Bluetooth. Display driver is Intel Iris XC graphics as per the Intel 12th generation i5. So everything is as per the specification. If we check a little bit of benchmark, benchmark. Let's check what is the result. This is a basic CPU load and a basic GPU load will be there. So performance benchmark has completed. This is the PC status. This is the 11.2% low as per the RTX 2060 Super. Okay. This is the performance benchmark of the processor. This is the graphics card. This is the drive performance benchmark. The drive has installed. This is the PCI Gen 4. That's the good result is also good. This is the RAM kit. This is the overall memory latency ladder. This is the skill bench report. This is the PC game if you want to pick as per their report. So overall this PC performance is good. So this PC is dedicatedly in, uh, used for the industrial purpose. You can use your home purpose also if you want to use this particular slim device. Asus Ultra Slim PL64. I hope you have enjoyed all the technical details about this mini PC. You can use this mini PC in variety of applications like you can use this in your signage, in your kiosk. Also you can use this in your IoT applications and IoT development. If you enjoyed this video, like this video and share as much as possible. Please subscribe our National PC YouTube channel to get the latest product video on this channel. I will see you on the next video.